All the knights in Shining Force 2 are stupid. Hey everyone, welcome back to Shining Force 3 DD. Book 1, Part 3. I'm so used to saying welcome back to Shining Force 3, Scenario 3. But anyway, welcome back. We, it's, it's an exciting time because I don't know what's going to come when we exit this town. Let's exit this town with our Monk Cray and see what's going to happen. We need a ship to get to the Cypress mainland. The dock is on the far side of the Minium, ba Minium Bastion. Cypress occupies it. We have to fight our way through. I have you now. Who is this guy? Our goblins fell to this band of mere children? Even so, you are no match for me. Me. The s that's, that's, that's our story. But you know what? You know, I, I, I there, I've, I've heard critical things about Shining Force CD and how there are no towns. And I feel that. And I like, I defend it because I'm like, you know what? This, the story's pretty good. But this guy is just like, I'll get you this. Oh, he has boost. You know, he's probably not going to use it. Because these enemies, they don't use the magic that they have sometimes, but if this guy has boost, that could be quite, quite a problem. What do we got down here? We got some huge bats down here. We have our force now, who is all decked out in iron and leather and actually good weapons. And from the looks of it, we have to fight to a river crossing down here. Also, we are... Let's be honest, we're still in the baby battles of this game. Who knows what's going to come next, but we're still very much in... You know, I don't need to pay attention to what's happening. We'll be fine. Are these bats going to be aggressive? Because... You remember the Shining Force 1 battle? The zombie battle. Uh, but the battle where you have to fight your way up to... Man Arena. Uh, there is a spot on a bridge where you can get sort of... Surrounded by dwarves and surrounded by bats. And it's not like it's hard and it slows you down and it's impo and it's impossible to defeat. But it is kind of like a, a nice little whoa. A nice little interesting section that happens. Holy crap, this guy just gets six damage to Cray. Yeah, Cray has bad defense. And you only have 13 attack? Cray. You're not looking too hot. And this entire time I've been sitting here thinking, does my party really need two Master Monks? And you're not out here... You're not out here winning me over with your terrible defense. You know, you know, you know why my party needs two Master Monks? The fact that I have like three heals left, three heals left between us. That's, uh, that's a big help. Okay, here we go, Apis. I've been doing... I've been doing some thinking. Wow, almost one hit this goblin. That goblin is Kray's. You leave Kray alone. And my thoughts have been, why do I... Why am I not paying attention to these huge bats? Why do I... Really like almost all of the knights... In Shining Force 1. Well, let's talk about the Knights in Shining Force 1 and give me some editing. I like all the Knights in Shining Force 1. Ken? Ken is fine. I get to start this, I like all the Knights in Shining Force 1 and I start with Ken, who's like... My least liked knight? Look at that, that's good AI to go for the archers. But still only 2 damage. He's a beefy archer. Um, Like Ken. Ken's perfectly fine. He's a perfectly nice little kid who joins you on your adventure. Nick, you gotta do better. May is wonderful. I can't say enough awesome things about May. May, best knight there is. May, the best knight there is in the entire Shining series. For me, quite possibly. Character development, cool sprite, pretty damn tanky. Can't say a bad thing about May. Then we have our other knight who I will I 
like to completely forget exists. Uh, let's just check on these bats here. They're going to come across, but a 15 tile, a 0 tile. You got an 11 attack. I'm what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to figure out if I can put Shay out here to sort of shade out here to sort of tank a hit. And we can. And we'll get Apis out there. Apis. Oh, what, a 30 tile? Yes, please. We're just trying to, uh. We're gonna leave this one up for Kray, too. Then. I. I. Archer. Archer. I'm already saying his name wrong. Arthur. Arthur's a very important knight in Shining Force 1, just in the community. Oh, he fell asleep. I forgot that could happen. Uh, just because a lot of people like to grind him. I, if you want my opinions on Arthur, I tend to forget he exists. Um, he's But still, from a design standpoint, he's a knight who learns magic. His sprite, he's got a real pretty face. Um, and he's unique and he's interesting. And even, even the, uh, the less good knights in Shining Force, as I call them, or the, the chapter four knights that join all at once. They all have personality. Pell, I mean Pell, uh, everyone will tell you. I made a Shining Force tier list. I did not put Pell higher than May, and let me tell you, everyone will tell you. Pell is the best knight in the game, and he is. He's got the highest attack. One damage? Do you have your weapon attack? That's equipped? Cray. Dude, you are... Man, you are not driving me crazy, Cray. That's... That's pathetic. But Pell's a great knight, he's got a cool design, his head, like he's got a super long neck for some reason. But he's interesting with his face. Vankar... Alright, look. Vankar shouldn't exist. Vankar is dumb. I don't know why he exists in the game. But even still, he's got a, a, a... He still has an interesting enough face. We're gonna go cut this bridge off. You do that, Apis. You can also hit this guy. Why not? And Ernest... While I will never use Ernest, or I never have used Ernest, at least has... You know, his cool edge lordy face. Um, let me... Looks angry, it looks like he's got problems. What do you have? Six agility. Is Craig gonna get a chance to act? I mean, even more importantly, is Craig gonna get a chance to... Alright, Roos, you can kill this bat. I'm sorry, Cray. Perfect. That's why we're here. And I mean, even Lyle. Even freaking Lyle, who is an archer... ...who is dumb. Even Lyle is, is pretty cool in his design. Something went up by three. Stop the presses. Does Cray actually is Cray actually the I'm a bad unit, but then I get good character? Again, wake up, Sig. Wait, you're asleep. How can you counterattack? Oh my God, we found a bug. Um, but yeah, then we come to all the horses in Shining Force too. And I'm going to say this right now, we're the little... What is it, the cold open? I'll say it so I can come back to it. All the knights in Shining Force 2 are stupid. All of them. It, it's, it's really disappointing. Uh, I mean, Chester, I mean, we say they're stupid. Chester is... Chester is perfectly defendable. Let's see if anything's going to fly over this bridge to attack Wendy. No, we're good. Chester is a perfectly defendable knight. Defensible knight. He is... You know, he's Ken. He's Ken. That's what he is. So we can't say... Ken's not the problem with Shining Force 2 knights. Then who do you come to next? Next up... Is Rick. And as a unit, Rick is fine. But... Look at his face, he's another young kid knight. You know, we gotta start paying attention, Sig could actually die. <laughs> oh, he's another young kid knight. Looks like your attack went up by three? That's what we want to see go up by three if we're gonna pick stuff. But he's another young kid knight. And then after that is Eric, who... Eric's alright. Eric's not bad. 
But like the problem with Eric is, are you going to pick him ahead of Karna? Are you going to pick him ahead of Tyron? No. So the best knight in the game, you're not even going to use. Then Higgins. Higgins is perfectly adequate. He's like a... He's on the level of Ernest. He's a perfectly fine knight. He's not gonna. He's nothing to set your clock to. He's nothing to make you excited. But he's perfectly adequate. I have nothing to say about Higgins. Higgins, you know, we want to talk about the problem with Higgins. It's the problem with all the knights in Shining Force 2. For some reason, their sprites are boring. Don't know what it is. Their attack animations aren't exciting. They just seem like. If you want me to say it, the, the Knights in Shining Force 2 have the same problem that Shining Force 2 has, in that they're all a little... A little bland. Oh, I said it. Even Jaro. Even J Jaro's probably the person who gets impacted by this the most. Because Jaro's cool. His face is cool. Like, he's basically earnest. He's earnest. But, like... When you watch the knights attack, like they just throw their little, they throw their spears with no impact. They do their lance charges. They don't look impact. But when you when you, you watch someone in Shining Force One, oh my god, this is awesome! We got a quick chicken and we got a protect mode. Um, when you watch the knights in Shining Force One, like when they come with their lamp, they like come up and they bring it down. Or when they throw their spear, they get both their arms. You it looks more impactful, man. Um, and Apis? Apis seems to me to be a Shining Force 1 knight. And I mean, look, we're going to talk about knights here. Don't close the bridge. I deserve this. I deserve this. This is me not, a, not paying attention to tactics. Pay attention to tactics. Prey could have a kill. He won't be getting one. Are we going to... We're gonna, we're gonna heal, we're gonna heal Shade. He doesn't need it, but I need the XP. Uh, and heck, you know, like I said, we're talking about the knights. Let's go all in. Let's talk about the Shining Force 3 knights, if I can remember them all. Um, Donard is fine. Not Donard. Don Terrace. Don Terrace is fine. I like Sybil. I like, I like the Halberds. Um, I like the Halberd weapons that all the knights use in Shining Force 3 uh, is very much a callback. I think I think the inclusion of the critical attacks in Shining Force 3 so that everyone's got a little bit of character helps a lot. Sybil, I really like Sybil. Um, I, I guess she's kind of like the May clone in a sense, but I never really felt that, oh my god, this high defense. Campbell, Campbell's basically Don Terrace in a nutshell. That's the you want me to rant about the problems that I don't that I have with scenario two, which I like scenario two more than scenario one. I think scenario two is pretty damn good. But you want me to rant about my problems that I have with uh scenario one? I would say or scenario two, it's the oh my god, you played scenario one, that force you had, here's the exact same force. With the exact same unit. Scenario 3, best scenario. Um, we're going to go here. That's a 30 tile. You get in there, Roos. You do some damage. You might be pulling the boss. We might be in trouble. Um, Don Terra. So, anyway. Campbell? Campbell's fine. You kill the scavenger. I, I'd like this to be dead. See? Look at that. Both hands involved in their attack. That's how you throw a spear with some oomph behind it. Your dad has taught you well. Uh, Donart, Donart is terrible in Scenario 2 because he's computer controlled, but like, as a unit, again, fine, perfectly acceptable. We're gonna see if we can pull these guys down, if they're gonna come to us, uh, rather than run the risk of us coming in too quick. Uh, and then what do we have? Donart in Scenario 3, they're not coming. This is just wasting everybody's time watching me play the game and watching me try to rant. Um... Rolly's cool. I haven't done my Scenario 3 tier list, but it is coming, and that list will say Rolly is cool. Whoa, you're not even pulling to me. Interesting. 
Yeah, that's right, run away. That hero is on a zero effect tile. You have to come to me. Come to me, attack me. Rolly's interesting. I think that's it for all of the... I think that's all of the Shining Force Knights that I have played. A game involving them in a nutshell. Like I said, this Apis. Okay, let's talk about Apis. Apis is cool. End of conversation about Apis. So we're coming up, we're roasting these dwarves alive, taking care of them. We didn't get any new spells, but we just got a free spell, so we can't complain. Apis, you're gonna come here, I want you... Wow. I can't believe that knight didn't pull. I was really hoping the knight would pull. Also, I'm gonna mention this briefly before we go into the boss. I'm wearing my Hangman, Hangman Page shirt. Uh, Hangman Page is a wrestler. We're recording this on the Monday after that freaking um, Texas Deathmatch he had. <laughs> Get out of here, Nick. I, mm -mm. After that Texas Deathmatch he had, 14 attack on you, 15 attack on you, he and Swerve had, where I can't even show clips of it, or I'll get my channel demonetized. Not that, you know, not that my channel is monetized in any way, shape, or form, but oh my god, if you've seen it, it's nuts. Let's finish this battle. There you go, perfect. That's when I want you to attack. Attack Roos. Five damage, not a double attack. Don't use your boost. We're we're through and clear. Oh, Sig has heal too. So I was gonna say, um, and forgive me if I said this 20 minutes ago. Uh we have two monks. We're probably gonna end up having one monk at the end of the day. And it's probably going to be rooted in who has the better spells at the end of the day. Oh, you just got two attacks? This is one damage now? Yeah, you're, these dark dwarves are nothing. And I'm not going to look it up in a walkthrough as much as I would like to, to determine which one of these guys gets the best magic. Because they both have heal, so it's not like it's a exciting decision between the two of them right now. Hell, I might just get a vicar and problem solved and pick them both out. But there's Nick. Oh my, Nick, you didn't even get level 4? We are disappointed. What are we at? HP-wise, 11. I kind of want Nick or Cray to come in and see if they can snag some XP from this battle. That might not be the case. Alright, Cray. Do something. Cray, Cray. Oh my god, someone. I wish to have that remark stricken from the record. Wendy's not killing this guy. Wendy, you're level 5. Oh, so here's the thing. I don't think Shade needs the level. He's also at 84. This is a this is a Roos, a Sig, or a Cray or a Nick kill. If you're level four, you're not killing this thing. You're just here. Alright, good. I was worried you would somehow go kill Sig or go kill Cray. Alright, you know this is a Nick kill. Nick gets the kill. He probably needs it the least, but also I need my swordsman not to suck. We got a Brand's Lance. Um, that's just going to make Apis even more absolutely a machine. You are stronger than you look. I can't believe it. Believe it! No time to lose. On to the Bastion. It's a nice 15-20 minute battle there. We're still in the... Only camp? Exit? Yeah, only camp, only exit. Uh, the pause is me thinking to myself, are we going to stop here? I do think this is a rather short one, and I do want to play more, but we're going to stop here. It seems like such a natural stopping point for us to stop. So, thanks for joining me, and we'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed the Shining Force Night discussion that we just went on. Hey, it's me, the guy who played the game. Thanks for watching and making it to the end. I don't like to beg for likes and subscribes, but they do make me feel nicer. So, make me feel nice. Or don't. There. Contractual YouTube obligations fulfilled. <laughs>